Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to build the optional landing gear for our Mini Explorer. Ultimately, we're gonna make this a cool stall stomper which can take off of any surface and it's also super easy to control on the ground. The only tools that you're gonna to need beyond the kit is gonna be some pliers, something to measure with, an Allen key for the 1.5 millimeter wheel collars, and a Phillips head screwdriver. If you don't already have instant glue, that'd be really helpful as well too. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order. This is gonna build in under five minutes. So as you can see in our kit here, we have our main landing gear wire. We have our two 3D printed parts. We have our 2.75 inch wheels, full wheel collars, and two screws to be able to mount it into the bottom of our mini Explorer. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mini landing gear and we're gonna measure the middle point right in the center. So right here we have 15 and a half inches. I'm just gonna go ahead and go half of that. That would be, uh, let's see, seven and three quarters right there. And from that point, we're gonna go ahead and bend this at an angle that's gonna match the groove inside both of our plates. So all I simply need to do now, take my pliers and bend this as sharp as possible so we have a nice clean bend. I'm gonna use the puck as my gauge, and if I overbend it or underbend it, I can simply adjust it until it's perfect. Once we're happy with this, we wanna make sure that the bend matches well enough where when we meet these two pieces together, it's gonna pinch it down and it's not gonna be separated apart. There's little tiny buttons that are kind of inset in here that will help you with alignment and make this as solid as possible. Now that we're happy with this, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of space on my table because I'm gonna use the table as my friend here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my instant glue. And I'm gonna take my instant glue. And I'm gonna place a bead of glue down inside where the wire goes. And then just all around, just a couple drops. You can use hot glue if you want to, but I really prefer instant glue for this application. I like to lay this right where it needs to go. And then ultimately what I can do is I can take the other side and I have this spray adhesive kicker. You can also use the pump side or just be patient and push it down. I'm gonna spray that and then I'll push these two pieces together. Keep in mind whenever you use an instant glue and kicker, it does build heat. So if you get that on your hands, it could burn you. So be careful. If you have any gaps, you can always put a little bit of glue in there and let it dry. Now that we have our two landing gear wires, we're gonna go ahead and measure off three inches on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue aside here. I'm just gonna come down here, three inches. Go to the other side. Three inches. From that point, I'm gonna carefully go ahead and bend this out so it kind of matches the plane with the top surface here. We can always adjust this a little bit more, a little bit less to get it just right. I always like to do both of my bends and then go back and use the table as my friend to be able to make sure that it's flat and it's parallel with each other. A little bit more. All right, a little overbend. So now I can go ahead and just adjust it. First angle I'm gonna look for is I wanna make this where they both lay flat on the table. Just a little bit more on this one. There we go. A little bit less. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna take this to the edge of the table here and you're gonna see that when I lay this down here that I should have it completely flat along all surfaces. If one size raises up or pushes down, go ahead and adjust it until everything on the wire is nice and flat. This is gonna assure that both your wheels are gonna be parallel to each other. Now we have our main landing gear wire bent. Let's put the first set of wheel collars on that are gonna act as spacers. These spacers are gonna be important to keep our wheels flowing nice and easy without riding up on the landing gear wire. This landing gear is very overbuilt because if you're a new pilot or you're stomping around outside, you wanna have some rough terrain. We want this to be able to be durable enough to not spring back, but it's perfect because that wide center on it keeps it from tipping over easy. Now that we have our inner wheel collars on, we can slide our wheels in and then we're going to take our second set of wheel collars and we're just going to give it about a millimeter of space, just about a sheet of paper. There we go. Same process on the other side and we're going to slide that down in. You never want to make your wheels where they lock and they're too tight. Just a little space is all you need. So now you're gonna see that we have some extra wire on both sides here. You can take your pliers or some wire cutters here. We're just gonna get as close as possible. There's one. There's two. We have good wire here. 
<laughs> At this point, our landing gear is done. Let's go ahead and bring in our Mini Explorer and we'll show you how to mount it. So this is our original Mini Explorer that you guys saw in the video. It has been through the war, training so many different people. We basically just passed the transmitter around. A lot of people fly it, a lot of people crash it, and it's still ticking. So now we get to give it a set of landing gear so people can start practicing to take it off. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the nose. And the second thing is depending on how your configuration is, you may have your receiver up in the front or in the back. Because of the nose weight in the back, if you do have a receiver down here, just pop it loose and then guide it under the underbelly under the center of gravity. This is gonna give us a little bit of nose weight and that's all we need. On our puck, you're gonna notice that we have a radius edge and we have a center channel and we have two screws. The radius edge is simply gonna slide right inside the fuselage and it's gonna push all the way back. And you can see through my test fitting, I already kind of have a little bit of an indent. You're gonna push this all the way to the point where it touches the servos on the back. Once we have this moved all the way back, right up against the servos, I'm just gonna drop in my two screws and then I can take my Phillips head screwdriver and screw it down. We're just gonna fasten this basically until it bites into the wood and it tightens the puck up against it. Almost there, there's one. And the second one. And you can see that I can hold it and shake it and it's not going anywhere. The reason we wanted to do this is we wanna give this plenty of strength and also if you choose to fly this FPV or ever remove the front nose, you can easily do so without this wobbling loose on you. Only thing left to do is slide our nose back in we're gonna push a little bit, kind of let it crush down around the landing gear, and then we're gonna lock it in with the dowel. The same rules apply with our center of gravity. Whenever we put our battery in here, we may need to move the battery back just a little bit because of the extra nose weight we have from our landing gear. But the really cool thing is, is because we have that mass lowered down on the fuselage, this is gonna have even better self-leveling tendencies, and it's also gonna handle beautifully on the ground. Friends, I wanna thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you for taking the time to build this landing gear kit with me. Can't wait to see you guys not only flying these, but also doing touch and goes and all the other great maneuvers that a landing gear has to offer. Make sure you check out our other Tech Channel videos and we'll see you next time.